Hey, hello everybody. I thought um, it would be a good time to address some possible issues that some of you might have. It's been several days since we've been able to be together, which, you know, really kind of stinks. And I'm sure you've heard a lot from many outstanding trainers here on the JCC webpage, here with our Facebook page, who have given you some powerful information on how to work out. Yet there might still be some of you going, what do I do? What do I really need? How can I make this work for me? So I'm gonna offer some ideas today that can go along with equipment, where to get the equipment, and then in subsequent videos, at least two other videos that will follow this, we'll show you, I'll actually show you how to use those and put together a program for you that you can use in your home and doesn't take a lot of time, okay? So first off, obviously one of the best things we have to work out with is our body and many of the trainers have shown you ways that you can work out using your body as resistance and to work through some difficult challenges there. Sometimes those of us in my age group we have some joints that don't want to cooperate with some of those exercises, and so we look for other options. So I'm going to show you some things that I use with many of my clients who are climbing up in those age categories, and that they can all be very successful. They are easy to obtain, they are not expensive, and they don't take a lot of space to store. So those are all very, very important things. First up would be a basic stability ball, kind of like the one I'm sitting on. So here we've got this, this stability ball. They take on many different names. They can sometimes be called a yoga ball, a stability ball, a physio ball. I mean, there's all sorts of things out there. This is easily purchased at Walmart, Target, any of those type of stores that you could physically go to. And of course, everything I'm gonna talk about today is available through Amazon if you'd like. When getting a stability ball, I probably, unless you're very tall, I do not recommend one larger than 55 centimeters or 65 centimeters at the maximum. For most of you, six feet to five foot six, you're probably gonna be looking at a 65 centimeter ball. If you're smaller than that in stature, shorter, then you're gonna to wanna to go with a 55 centimeter ball. And again, they're very inexpensive. Don't pay more than $20, unless you've gotta go shipping or something like that. But either way, very inexpensive. Next are bands. Bands are very important. We left from the JCC so quickly that I was unable to grab some of my usual bands that I use. So I did go to Walmart and actually found a group of bands, this group of three, and the box, they came in a box and it cost $10. And we've got a heavy, medium, and a light. And so far they've done everything I've needed. The only thing that might happen is they might break sooner than those that you could order through Amazon. So if you want to go to Amazon for any of these things, these would be referred to as short loop or small loop resistance bands. And if you go with something larger, which I definitely recommend you look into, we have bands that are large like this, and when I say large, I mean, you can see I disappear out of the picture with this thing. So this kind of gives you an idea how big this thing is. This is a thick one. This is a much lighter one. The lighter one I can get typically for about $10. The heavier one, somewhere in the neighborhood of, oh, probably $15 to $17, depending on who you get them from. These bands, this type of thing, you will not be able to find inside Walmart, Target, or Dick's Sporting Goods, that sort of place. What they'll have instead 
will probably be something more like this. Handles, the protective covering over the band, because this is tubing inside here. The tubing is known to break more easily than the thicker band. And thus there's this protective jacket on it so that if it does break, you are not injured in any way. You can get this. I bought this one through Walmart, or excuse me, through Amazon. And it came with three other types of bands that I have on my door over here back by where you can see that bar leaning against the wall. It came with the handles and it came with a little door piece that you can fit into the door frame, shut the door, and then do work that way so that you have an anchor. Next, I would recommend you consider purchasing a small medicine ball. This thing right here weighs four pounds. They do have some that are two pounds and even down to one pound, and they can also go bigger than this. This is an excellent thing because you can work your grip with it in this fashion. You can do some things, a little release and catch, as well as a multitude of other things to work on hand-eye coordination. With some of our clients, we do a alternating hand movement like unto a kettlebell movement. So again, this thing, small resistance, or excuse me, small medicine ball, if you're going through Amazon, this sort of thing is also available in Walmart Target. Now, speaking of kettlebell, you can go with a small kettlebell. This one is 20 pounds. And this one, even though it's backwards in this picture, 20 pounds. And this one was purchased locally through Walmart, Walmart about, geez, 10 years ago maybe. So you probably won't get anything just like this. They're now prettier. They come in multitude of colors, that sort of thing. But you can pick up a small kettlebell at Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods and not spend a great deal of money for them. Of course, there's also dumbbells that you can get. And let's see, I think that's probably about all you would need for your home workout with the small loop bands, the large loop bands, or a covered tube band with handles, a small medicine ball, four pounds again, small kettlebell, if you would like, and some dumbbells, just a small group of dumbbells. You can get two, four, six, eight pounders, probably locally, like in, again, Walmart, Target, Dick's Sporting Goods, that sort of thing. You can always order these things through Amazon. If you're an Amazon Prime member, ideal, because then you don't pay shipping for most of these things. And so it makes it just perfect to that way. So what we're gonna do next, on my next video, I'll be showing you how to actually use these things. We'll be spending most of our time with the bands next time. So I look forward to seeing you then and hang in there. Hang tough, stay safe, stay at home, order through Amazon. That way you can accomplish all those things. But above all, it's gonna be really easy now to put on a few pounds. I'm, I've done that myself, it's really annoying to me. So I just need to be more aware of what I eat and my activity level. And so I say the same to you, be aware of your activity level and just how easy it is to snack away while you're binge watching something on TV. Not that I've ever done that, of course. But, all right, my friends, talk to you later. Enjoy, be safe.